Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Lepakshi Khurana. Here are the top stories we're tracking for you. Teacher turned terrorist arrested in twin blast case in India's Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistani police officers stage rare protest following deadly mosque blast. And U.S. diplomat says China has not done enough on Sri Lanka debt restructuring. And now for all the details. Police in India's Jammu and Kashmir territory has arrested a government teacher having allegiance to terror outfit lashkar e taiba in connection with multiple blasts that took place across the Jammu region recently. A senior police official said the accused had been in touch with Pakistan-based handlers for three years and was provided ready-made IEDs by them to conduct blast. Investigations of twin IED blasts in Narwal area of India's Jammu and Kashmir territory achieved a major breakthrough on Thursday after the local police apprehended a government teacher having links with Pakistan-based militant group. According to Police Chief of Jammu and Kashmir Dilbag Singh, Arif the government teacher having allegiance to Lashkar-e-Taiba planted the IEDs on the night of January 20, which exploded a day later injuring nine people. Singh said Arif was also involved in earlier incidents of low-intensity blasts across Jammu region. He accused Pakistan for propagating terrorism from its land and it wants to create a communal divide among the people of Jammu and Kashmir. बिल्कुल कम्युनल लाइंस पे हैं, सेक्टेरियल लाइंस पे हैं, और साथ ही साथ ये भी मकसद रखती हैं कि जम्मू में दम तोड़ चुकी जो दहशत गलती है, उसको फिर से किसी तरीके से रिवाइव किया जाए, उसको फिर से जिंदा किया जाए। पुलिस आल्सो रिकवर्ड अ वन ऑफ काइंड परफ्यूम आईडी फ्रॉम आरएफ्स पोसेशन Already to use IEDs have come from across the border, JNK police chief said, adding that further investigation is underway. India has long accused Pakistan for aiding and supporting terrorists to spread unrest in India, especially in Jammu and Kashmir. However, Islamabad denies the allegation and says it only provides moral and diplomatic support to people of Kashmir. An opposition lawmaker has shouted slogans against the Adani group in India's parliament on Thursday after a report by a U.S. short seller accused the conglomerate of improper use of tax havens and stock manipulation, while also raising concerns over high debt levels. Lawmakers have demanded an independent judicial probe into the allegations. Both houses of the Indian parliament were adjourned for the day early on amid disruptions by opposition lawmakers who shouted slogans against the Adani group on Thursday after a report by a U.S. short seller that accused the conglomerate of improper use of tax havens and stock manipulation while also raising concerns over high debt levels. The protest by opposition parties came a day after the group's flagship company abandoned its $2.5 billion stock offering. Adani group's market losses have risen to more than $100 billion since last week when short seller Hindenburg Research published the critical report. The conglomerate has denied the accusations, saying the short seller's allegation of stock manipulation has no basis and stems from an ignorance of Indian law. The opposition parties have called for an independent judicial probe into the allegations. In which the market market capital of 1,40,000 crore is finished, और अदानी ग्रुप को मजबूर किया है एफपीओ वापस लेने के लिए वो देश में चर्चा उसकी होनी चाहिए जिस तरीके से घोटाला हम देख रहे हैं 2014 से एक ही ग्रुप को जिस तरीके का फायदा हो रहा है फोर्ब्स में नंबर 3 या 4 पे आ जाते हैं और अब गिरावट हो रही है ये सिर्फ स्टॉक मैनिपुलेशन और स्टॉक की ओवरप्राइसिंग की वजह से हुआ है बिलियनियर गौतम अदानी हु फाउंडेड द अदानी ग्रुप हैज डिनाइड एलिगेशंस दैट ही हैड बेनिफिटेड 
from close ties with Prime Minister Narendra Modi. India's government has also denied allegations of favoring Adani. While well, in news from Pakistan, police officers and members of the elite force of the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa on Wednesday staged protests in several cities of the province. The protests took place after the deadly blast in a mosque on Monday that claimed almost 100 lives. All but three of those killed were police officials, making it the most casualties suffered by Pakistan's security forces in a single attack in recent history. Days after the deadly attack in Pakistan's Peshawar city, the Khyber Pakhtunkhwa's police officers and members of its elite force on Wednesday staged protests in several cities of the province. The Monday's attack, which took place in a mosque, killed at least 100, many of whom were police officials, making it the most casualties suffered by Pakistan's security forces in a single attack in recent history. The protesting police officials demanded a joint investigation team to probe the attack. If an authentic report comes out, a report by the JIT, then we may have a solution. If not, then we are not going to get any answer, like other attacks, a protesting official said. <laughs> In the latest on Thursday, Provincial Police Chief Mozam Ja Ansari told reporters that the suicide bomber had been identified who had breached security by wearing a police uniform. The bomber was part of a network and had driven a motorcycle into the area, the police chief said. Earlier on Wednesday, Pakistan's Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif, after a meeting with his cabinet, said the country wants the opposition PTI-led Khyber Pakhtunkhwa government to be held accountable for the rise of terrorism and questioned where the fund provided for enhancing counter-terrorism department was spent. The most active militant group in the area, the Tehreek-e Taliban Pakistan, has recently increased attacks on police as part of its campaign against the government in Islamabad. And moving on, locals in Pakistan-administered Kashmir have said they are upset over zero development in the region while they are bearing the brunt of failed economic policies of Islamabad. They say they are fed up of poor roads, frequent load shedding and the corrupt system which is least interested in bringing about a change. A report. Residents of Pakistan-administered Kashmir have expressed concern over no development over the years and soaring inflation in the region. They blame they are being forced to bear the skewed policies framed by Pakistan. Furthermore, the bureaucracy only creates hurdles in infrastructure development. They said they are fed up with poor roads, schools without shelter, frequent load shedding and the corrupt system which is least interested in bringing a change in the illegally occupied region's progress for good. Pakistan has misruled the region for more than seven decades. There is a Prime Minister and President in Pakistan administered Kashmir, but they are deemed as doujas by locals and activists who claim the people in the region have no political rights and representation, although they are taxed heavily. The UNA chief Martin Griffiths and member states discussed on Wednesday how to continue sending aid to Afghanistan after a ban on most female aid workers was enforced by the Taliban administration late last year. Griffiths assured that humanitarian agencies will continue to work in Afghanistan while pushing for exceptions to the so-called ban. The UN aid chief Martin Griffiths and member states on Wednesday held a discussion over how to continue sending aid to Afghanistan after a ban on most female aid workers was enforced by the Taliban administration in December last year. Speaking at a United Nations session, Griffiths assured that humanitarian agencies will continue to work in Afghanistan while pushing for exceptions to the so-called ban. 
He further added that some exemptions to the female aid worker ban had been granted in health and education and there are indications that there could be a possible exemption in agriculture. Humanitarian agencies will continue to work, will be present in Afghanistan unless and until there is a blanket opposition to the role of women. Where exceptions exist, we will work. Where it's possible uh, to, to, to find more of those exceptions, more sectors, I'll come back to that, we will push for that. For that. The humanitarian community does not go on strike. It seeks ways to try to find ways to work. No foreign government has formally recognized the Taliban regime since it seized power in 2021 with some diplomats saying it must change course on women's rights. Many countries have expressed major concerns over most girls and women over the age of 12 being stopped from attending school or university. Enforcement of sanctions and a cut in development aid have contributed to the country falling into an economic crisis that has left more than half the population dependent on humanitarian aid. And in news from Sri Lanka, senior U.S. diplomat Victoria Newland on Wednesday said Washington wants China to provide credible and specific assurances to the International Monetary Fund along with other creditors to help Sri Lanka unlock an IMF bailout. She said while India has made strong commitments, what China, the other largest creditor, has offered so far is not enough. The United States wants China to provide credible and specific assurances to IMF, the International Monetary Fund, along with other creditors, to help Sri Lanka unlock a $2.9 billion bailout. U.S. Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs Victoria Newland said on Wednesday. She made the remarks after holding talks with top Sri Lankan leadership including President Ranil Vikramasinghe. Sri Lanka entered into a staff-level agreement with the global lender last September, but needs financing assurances from key bilateral lenders, China and Japan, before disbursements can begin. India, the third significant lender, dispatched its financing assurances to the IMF last month. The Export-Import Bank of China has offered Sri Lanka a two-year moratorium on its debt and said it would support the country's efforts to secure an IMF program. What China has offered so far is not enough. We need to see credible and specific assurances that they will meet the IMF standard of debt relief. India has made strong commitments that it will provide the credible assurances the IMF is looking for. The United States and its Paris club partners are prepared to do their part, Newland told reporters. Sri Lanka is caught in its worst financial crisis in 70 years, with soaring inflation, a recession and currency depreciation over the last year. We want to see an IMF program as quickly as possible. That is what Sri Lanka deserves and needs, Newland said. Two large Shaligram stone slabs from Nepal, most likely to be used in the construction of the idol of Hindu Lord Ram, reached India's Ayodhya city on Thursday. Banks of the Kali Gandaki River in Nepal is the only place where Shaligram stones are found and are considered sacred. Two large Shaligram stones, considered non-anthropomorphic representations of Hindu God of Preservation, Lord Vishnu, which have been dispatched from Nepal, reached India's northern Ayodhya city on Thursday. The holy stones were welcomed at the birthplace of Hindu Lord, who is also known as the incarnation of Vishnu, by priests and locals who decorated the boulders with garlands and offered prayers. The large stones are expected to be used for the construction of idols of Ram and his wife Janki, which will be placed in the main temple complex of the under construction Ram Temple in Ayodhya. Our darshan pujan, we are very happy. इतना ज्यादा रोमांचित हो रहा है रोम रोम सब इतना अच्छा लग रहा है कि हम लोग बहुत सौभाग्यशाली हैं इसके लिए सौभाग्यशाली इसलिए हैं कि बरसों की तपस्या आज रंग लाई है फाउंड ओनली ऑन द रिवर बैंक्स ऑफ काली गंदा की द शालीग्राम स्विंग 18 एंड 60 टन्स ईच reached Ayodhya on heavy-duty trucks from Nepal's Janakpur, the birthplace of Lord Ram's wife, popularly known as Goddess Sita. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on Facebook.com slash SAsianewsline and follow us on Twitter at SAsianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.
Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.